Hello, this is Nice Wander, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are here in Southern California. It's raining. <laughs> uh, we're probably having our uh, biggest uh, rainstorm of the season uh, so far, and actually in quite a while here in Southern California. So, a lot of snow up on the mountains here, the San Bernardino Mountains, anyway. Not so much the local mountains, although maybe after. This storm, we'll start seeing some at the three and four thousand uh, level elevation. Uh, anyway, uh, I had a great day at NAM, uh, the National Association of Music Manufacturers Convention, the huge, massive event that takes place every year at the Anaheim Convention Center. It took place on Saturday. Well, it actually has been going on; it's still going on today. Uh, it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. I was there yesterday, Saturday, the 21st, and had a blast. My first time, I don't know why it was my first time. I should have been going to this years ago. It's fantastic if you're in the music industry as a retailer or somehow connected as a player um, in the industry somehow. You should, if you don't, haven't already, you should definitely go to this event every year. It's fantastic. Met some great people. Um, really enjoyed myself thoroughly. Uh, uh, meeting people from all over the world, literally. Uh, wonderful, wonderful people. Other fellow musicians. Um, great, great time. Uh, and um, one of the many things I wanted to do is kind of see, you know, who was there. And uh, I guess Stevie Wonder was there, and I missed him. I was really close to where he was, I guess. There's so many people there. I mean, like 100,000 people attend this thing in the four days it goes on. It's really amazing. Um, but I did see, um, um, Kenny Aronoff, um, uh, who, uh, has started out with John Mellencamp playing drums, the powerhouse drummer, uh, in the Mellencamp band in the 1980s, played on all those hits of his, and then he went on to play with John Fogarty, Melissa Etheridge, uh, Elton John, Rolling Stones, Stephen Tyler, on and on and on. And just an incredible drummer. I mean, his list, you know, in his new book, which he was there signing at the Hal Leonard booth. Uh, well, actually, it was more like the Hal Leonard store because it was so big. Um, I think it's called Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, or Rock and Roll, Drugs, and Sex. I, I don't know. But it's his biography, and I guess there's maybe 20-some pages of just his credits alone. Um, just an amazing guy. I met him at the Pop Machine um, in Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, where my co-producers of this album, my second album, um, were working with him on uh, a local artist's uh, track. Interesting guy. What an amazing drummer, seeing him play up close like that. Uh, you probably have seen him during the Obama administration. Um, he was um, um, pounding away at those Kennedy Center concerts, you know, for Paul McCartney and, and Led Zeppelin and the Eagles and on and on. Uh, the bald-headed guy with the sunglasses. Yeah, that's Kenny. Uh, I did see him. I was trying to... Uh, 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 Alan Holdsworth, this guy, was late, uh, but he's he was hanging out at ISP Technologies booth. Great guitar player, great guitar player, and extraordinarily humble. One of the ISP um, employees was, was telling me, can you believe that he... I asked, I asked her, I said, is he going to play? And he said, no. I said, well, why? And, well, and she says, right? Uh, he doesn't think he think he's good enough, and I'm like, <laughs> really? But well, at least he's coming and talk to the, to talk to the fans, and then they were lining up. And a uh, great guitar player, Alan Holdsworth. If you've never heard him, uh, he's got solo albums, but he also was in uh, on the first album of a of a, a prog rock band called UK. Check it out. Um, and ironically, speaking of Indiana connection, uh, one of the first uh, people booths I went to were actually connected and talked to someone. I was I want to do a shout out to Jordan at Rockstock Pedal Company. And uh, they're in Columbus, Indiana. And they told me they, uh, well, the long or the short of it, I got to find out more. But apparently, um, this guy had heard of Surfing with Jesus, the song Surfing with Jesus, uh, my first album. And, uh, Wow, what a small world and a huge place like that to run into somebody uh, from Columbus, Indiana um, with with friends and relatives and Terre Haute and Indianapolis, wherever. Interesting. 
small world. I also, uh, well, I played the new Korg, and I have some pictures on social media I'm posting that maybe I'll stick one of those in here so I can show you what the new Korg is I played. I played uh, played around a little bit with one of the uh, analog synthesizers uh, Sequentia makes. That was really cool. I, <laughs> I would have liked to have taken one of those home with me. Cool stuff. Um, and then I went to Moog uh, to, of course, you know, I have a, a Moog synthesizer, so I wanted to see uh, the latest there. They didn't have any on display this year. Um, well, I should say for hands-on. Uh, they did have uh, some old uh, mini Moogs in the display, a display case there. It was primarily an interesting little tribute to um, electronics musicians that we lost this year that used Moog products. Um, and it was a, a cool little thing here and I put something, I posted on Twitter, maybe I'll make a screenshot of it and I'll, I'll put it in this video but one step at a time, what to do listen to this cassette tape of these artists playing and the step one, step two, step three and then the artists um, are uh, Pauline Alveros um, she's a female, obviously uh, Bernie Worrell, of course, from Parliament Funkadelic. Um, he also played with Talking Heads on their funky album that included um, Once in a Lifetime. Remember that song? Um, Don Buchla, who was kind of like Morton Sabotnik, uh, kind of a uh, avant-garde synthesizer player. Uh, Buchla. Don Buchla. I actually never heard of him. I'm going to check him out now. Um, as well as Jean-Jacques Pabi. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, Keith Emerson. Yeah. Of Emerson, Lake and Palmer, who actually was at that very booth last year at this time, before he passed, and uh, it was kind of cool, you know. And uh, got a couple little notepads. I got one from I say of Tomato, who I love listening to in college, uh, and uh, from Japan. It's kind of like space out, meditation kind of music. And then, of course, Keith Emerson, of Emerson, Lake and Palmer uh, concerts that were like seeing classical and rock in the same show and it was just, you know, you know, total music sensation experience. And I got to see him also in addition to those three powerhouse musicians and orchestra. So it was quite a great memory for me. And it's all inspiring me to get back into doing music again. Anyway, time is ticking away. Uh, after all the things said and done, like I said, the people were great. At the end of the night, it was seeing Ronnie Spector and, and the Ronettes perform with the actual drummer um, Hal Blaine uh, who played on the actual uh, Ronettes recordings you know sitting in on, on Be My Baby and playing those famous little roles uh, and seeing Ronnie just looked gorgeous uh, and those oh 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 I mean just you know it one guy standing next to me said like my this is making my heart feel good and see and that's that's where I was Yes, I, I, I would have been with the, the women and the other marchers celebrating civil rights and women, but I did it that way by being there at NAM, and I'll have stories about that as well in a separate video. Anyway, it was a great day. Met so many, many great people uh, along the way. Thank you so much to Mark and, and uh, John and, and everybody out there. Uh, really appreciate it and uh, looking forward to doing it again next year and uh, that's all really I have time in this video I got a, a lot of other stuff to do so I love you